Hey guys, Taylor with Game Edge here coming at you with a quick market status video for December 11th, 2023. Uh, we're just going to get straight into looking at structure here. So we have here we have SPXP. This is the PM Settle Complex. Um, full complex shown here. Things to note, above and below spot price, we are call dominated. You'll just see this by the preponderance of green net delta columns. Uh, key transition zone for today is 4,600 bulls. We want to see you hold this level. That will become more clear as we start to zoom in more to the zero DT. Um, plus Gex, this shifted higher to 46.50 from last week. Um, one kind of black eye here is COI is still stuck at 4,600. Ideally, we like to see COI equal or above plus Gex. Uh, transition zone, 45.95 is what I'm calling it here. You'll see the transition zone kind of stretches lower just due to some of these positive green gamma strikes down here. But, you know, if we take a look at the landscape, it's very clear that that's the transition zone. And then 45.25, that is negative uh, Gex. So now going to look at <coughs> SPX, uh, this is zero DTE, structure is very clear here. Um, below spot price, we're called dominated, above spot price, I'm, I'm calling it mixed. Um, our, I think, put dominated in aggregate, but those puts are up here, you'll see, uh, you know, a good, a good bit of green up until, you know, kind of this 46, 50 area, you call it. But anyways, transition, 4,600, 4,595. Again, in between the zone, really don't want to be doing anything. This is the chop zone, more or less. Above 4,600, this strike and all strikes above that are positive. So kind of, you know, helps uh, the, the the bullish case a bit. You know, if we're able to hold 4,600, 4,625 is our target for the day because that is plus GEX and COI. Again, plus GEX is the strike with the most positive gamma on this expiration and COI strike with the most call open interest. Below 4595, we're really not inclined to do anything today. Really just close up shop, come back tomorrow. Reason for that being is we are in the money, um, a lot of call domination below spot price. 4590 is the downside target. So again, risk rewards, not that great. And as we see, tick is um, kind of moderately strong here today. So we don't want to be trading against tick either, kind of the, the intraday momentum. So again, another thing to be cognizant of here, looking at 1DTE, <clears throat> again, the, the picture is fairly bullish. We have plus GEC shifting up to 40, 4650. Uh, transition route transition zone is uh, a bit wider. I mean, honestly, though, we could probably call it 4595 to 4590. Uh, we do have this kind of strike up here that is negative. But um, again, going to look at the landscape view, it's very clear this is kind of the, the transition zone there. So you can just want to hold above transition zone here again, 4600. This is key level in my mind in the complex. Um, rounding it out, let's just look at this week. Um, so this week, again, fairly bullish week uh, in the money, or sorry, above and below spot price, a lot of green, so call domination there. <clears throat> Uh, the one thing is, you know, plus Gex is 4,600. Transition zone is tight uh, and it contains both plus and minus Gex. However, we are starting to see structure build out higher here. You know, 4,625 key level, 0 DT, 4,650 key level, 1 DT. So again, just important to see how structure kind of rounds out today. Looking to see where the volume goes. And then also importantly, starting or getting tick confluence, meaning, you know, if we do see progression higher, um, you know, we maybe see some filter ticks and some cumulative tick, you know, trending higher along with the price. Last thing to note is um, one one o'clock p.m. have a 10 year bond auction. Uh, in the past, we haven't paid attention to these, but you know, the last couple of months when we have these auctions, there has been some kind of material price action. So this could be noise. It could be not. It could be not. But as you'll see on my chart, I have 1 p.m. Uh, denoted just because I want to be cognizant of this, making sure I really am not trading around this because who, who knows what's going to happen. So I don't, I don't, I don't want to be caught, caught in that crossfire. So with that, uh, best of luck to you all out there and we'll see you in the Discord. Bye.